Oh, oh my God, I think I broke my chair. I participated in Airac's $120,000 extreme ping pong tournament. Did I win? Yes. Did I win $120,000? No, not even a single dollar. But I won in my heart because I conquered a fear. Oh my God, this chair's really broken, huh? For those of you who are new to the channel, I have severe stage fright. For years, I have evaded anything like public speeches, performances, walking across the stage like a, a graduation ceremony or being the center of attention in front of a live audience. The thought of going on stage makes my palms sweaty, it makes me shaky, it gives me dry mouth. And if you are like me, then you know how complicated that can be in some scenarios. You get that panicky feeling internally, a little bit of a tremor, a little bit of mental confusion, you're disoriented. Just the idea of being on a public stage in front of doesn't matter how many people is terrifying. I am scared. So here's what happened. I'm in a program called Creator Now that is led by ERAC and it consists of 300 creators inside of a small community where we can talk to each other, help each other out. A few days ago, one of the Creator Now organizers sent out a Google Doc form for us to fill out saying, hey, if anybody wants to be part of a digital audience for the Extreme Ping Pong Tournament, fill this form out and out of the creators that apply, we'll be picking up 23 of them. So I said, okay, I'm just gonna apply. What's the worst that can happen? There's 300 people, the odds of me getting picked are like one in 300. I got picked. So I sit down, I turn my webcam on. Basically, I think that what you're seeing here on the screen is gonna be the entire setup. You know, I'm just gonna be watching the game. I'm gonna be a digital audience and once in a while, the camera will pan on me. So we get into the contest and Eric starts talking. Today, 12 of the top YouTubers are going to be playing a game of ping pong for $120,000. He's giving his little like announcement speech. He's talking about how everything works. Uh, he walks into the ping pong tournament room and I see my face plastered on a TV in rows of three by three. Yeah, give me a cheer, let's go baby! Oh. That is me. I did not think that my face would just be this giant box the entire time. I'm talking like the entire three hour time. Well that's me! My face is just in a giant corner on this giant TV in front of hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people. Now you're probably wondering, Milad, if you didn't want to get picked, why did you even apply in the first place? And if you are asking that question, then you must be new to the channel. So hey, how's it going? My name is Milad, and I do this kind of content because I really want to get myself out of my comfort zone. I'm very, very introverted. I want to get myself more out there. This pushes me to be more outgoing and get to experience life through a completely different lens than what I live in a day to day when I am in my little introvert shell. Now, if you do know me, you know that I make these types of videos so that when I am 80 years old, I have a bunch of life experiences that I can share. You know, if I slept in the Bermuda Triangle for 24 hours, I can say I did that. If I go jet skiing with a polar bear, I can say I did that. At 80 years old, I have these life experiences experiences. If I was a part of a digital audience for a $120,000 stream ping pong tournament, at 80 years old, I want to be like, I did that. That was me in front of millions of people. Went on a 2,700 mile flight with drunk goggles on. I did that. Eating the strangest foods from Facebook. Dude, what is, what is wrong with you? Why would you do that? I'm not proud of that one actually, but I want to do more. I want to do more. Big problem is that I have stage fright. And so I did this because I wanted to challenge my fear of stage fright and I wanted to conquer it. Stage fright will be mine. Wait, no. I don't want you to be mine, no. Stage fright will be defeated. That's what we'll go with. So anyways, now you can see me on the stage. Uh, I'm cheering, I'm wooing. I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. I'm working off autopilot panic mode. And like I said, this is not what I was expecting. I was expecting the camera to pan on me maybe once in a while. As soon as Eric walked into that room and I saw my face on that screen, the nerves kicked in even more. You can see the dry mouth in my actions. Like every 20 seconds I'm drinking. Next to me, I had a cup of coffee and I had a bottle of water. But alas, in the end, I reminded myself that nobody is even watching me. So I should stop being a narcissist. Watch the tournament. Watch how fun everything is. Wish I was there live and really just focus on the game. Nobody cares about the people on the screen. We're just a background. This did help me ease in a bit and enjoy the tournament much more. So you can kind of start to see where I do get a bit more comfortable. You even catch me smiling in some parts. Like, look right there. Look at that. I'm smiling. Aww. So I started to watch the game more than I started to watch myself. And I actually had a great time. All in all, I ended up tackling one of my biggest fears and I ended up getting this experience under my belt along with an amazing memory um, where I was on a live stage in front of millions of people. And I'm really happy that I did that. I think that when I'm 80, this will definitely be a fun time in my life where I can say, 
I did this. Now, with everything that's been said, it's your turn. What is a big fear that you have that you've always wanted to conquer and I want you to go and challenge it? No matter how big or small that fear is, go seek that fear, challenge it head on and get that experience under your belt for when you're also 80 years old. That way, you and I can both share some stories together when we meet. That is all for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys subscribe. We just hit 2,000 subscribers. So you already know, next goal 3,000. I want to try and hit 10K before the end of 2021. If you are new, would love to see your face more. Thank you and take care.